Okay guys, uh, today we're working on this uh, tractor that I have a, a slow leak on it, so we're going to figure out how to, how to, you know, basically see where the leak is and uh, go from there. So, let me jack it up. And then see if we can get this cover off. We might have to heat it because, you know, sometimes the, the rubber or the covering, the vinyl, gets a little bit old and it doesn't like to come off. Hopefully it'll come off. <clears throat> Let's see. There we go. And then cut it in. Okay, uh, let's put some air in it and do a leak test. Okay, I have this little pool. I'm gonna dunk it and see where we go, okay? And see if we can see any bubbles. Let's see if we can see from the valve. Oh yeah, oh, I think that's where it's leaking. I think the valve is bad, that old original valve. Let's check somewhere else though, but there's a lot of I don't know if you can see it, but there's a lot of water leaking from the valve. Anywhere else? I don't see anything else. Let's go all the way around though. Okay, let's go here on the back side. Let's see what we see. Nope. Okay. It looks like it's leaking from. Okay, let's take it inside. Alright, I don't. I don't have a valve this small. Um, I have I have the ones for the the longer ones, but I don't know if it's going to work here because it sticks out too far. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. So what I'll do is I'll use my tire machine to break this rim down um, enough for me to put the a new valve in here. So just this side, I'll take the core out and then we'll go from there. So these are all I've got. They're kind of long. Well, they're longer. Um, than this but you know hopefully it'll work and and I know hopefully that won't leak and we'll give it a chance so let me break it down I'll take the core out and let me go over there and break the bead because I think it's leaking at the rubber oh yeah it's you can tell right here look it's actually separated from the metal so we'll take the Okay, and then I can just break the bead on one side because that's all it probably will take to get that to get that out or to get a new one in because we can cut the old one out. So uh, you know what? Let me bring you back when I'm ready to install the new one. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, I got it. Um, the bead broken, and what we're gonna do is gonna just take a knife, hopefully, and just cut this end of it off if we can. Usually, this works. Let me get an actual blade then, okay? An actual blade. So we're just gonna just get it to the point where we can actually slice it off. There we go. And we don't want to make sure we don't drop it in there. So we're just going to cut it off and then rip it off. There we go. And the end of it. Okay, there we go, right there. Okay. And then we're going to make sure it's clean. And it looks clean. It looks like there's no damage around that. And then we're going to get a. Well, it's not the same length, you know, but got no choice. Okay. I'm going to send it through. Oh. I don't like to 
do is I'm going to put a little bit of sealant around that. It doesn't need it, but... I put a little bit. Of, I put a little bit of that sealant, the black sealant that I have over it. Just, well, extra insurance because, well, just to be sure. And then we take this. Oh, come on. There we go. Get it on all the way. There we go. It's on all the way. So I like to rotate it where I can see it. And then basically you get one of the grooves here. And then you, can you see it? I hope you can see it. And then you just keep pushing it until it pops in. And there you go. Now it's seated. That's good. Very simple, it, it pulls in super easy. It doesn't take a lot of force. And then, that's it for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of that uh, sealant around here because of the the, uh, the rims are really tight on here. So I wanna make sure that we don't lose any of that sealant. And then we'll put the new cap on it after we add the air. But I'm gonna add a little bit of that sealant to the, to the rubber because I don't wanna create a leak that wasn't there by because it's an old tire, we're using it again, so we're just going to put it right on the bead. Max out. That one is going to give me a little extra insurance that, you know, it's going to be okay, and we're not going to have a leak there. So, let's uh, fill it with air and set the bead and go check it out and see if we have the leak fixed. All right, let's see if we got the leak. I filled it with 14 pounds of air and then we're gonna put it right there. No, there's no bubbles. And the rim, no bubbles. Okay, front and back side looks good, no bubbles. I think we're good. All right, guys. Uh, now do the tire back. Put the uh, the valve cup on, the valve cap on. I, I put that, and now I'm just gonna put the cover on as best I can. There we go. <clears throat> and then we'll see. I think it's gonna be good. I don't think this one's gonna lose any more air. I think we're good to we're to good to go. So again, uh, thank you for watching another video. Thank you for subscribing, and as always, have a great day. Bye now.